Ideas to fund education are once again getting the attention of state lawmakers, and one of the proposals aims to increase the general excise tax to pay for it. Jen Beniza joins us now with more. Jen. Dash, those in favor say it's what is needed to fund our schools and support our teachers. Those opposed tell me this would hurt everyone by affecting the cost of living and doing business here in the islands. A new bill is moving through the Senate to fund schools just four months after the CONAM was shut down by the Supreme Court. The proposal would increase the GET by half of 1%. I met with Senator Brian Taniguchi. I threw in the bill to try to um, provide at least some alternative way to help uh, our school, our public schools. Taniguchi tells me the tax could generate up to $350 million. In the bill, it sets aside um, at least $200 million to go toward uh, education and another $50 million toward higher education. But what about the other $100 million? The general excess tax is so um, broad that it would, uh, it would be a way to also help fund things like the homeless and stuff. But um, primarily, for, we set aside that amount for education. The Hawaii Chamber of Commerce says this is not the answer. Obviously, public education is very important to all of us, uh, but we believe that this vehicle is not the right solution. Raising the GET will further increase the cost of living, the cost of doing business, and so every consumer, every person in Hawaii will be impacted by the increase of the GET. The Senate Ways and Means Committee will hear the bill next week, Thursday, to determine if it will move on to the House for a vote. We will follow up and let you know what happens. Marissa?